Today I'm going to do a quick guide on understanding USB-C speeds and what to look for. Uh, you, not all USB-C cables are the same speed. Uh, the speed uh, matters because if you're transferring files or you're using the cable for video output, you'll want it to uh, support the maximum speed of the device so you get the most out of the device and you don't have problems with the device slowing down or lagging out. So one thing and the most important thing actually a lot of people don't realize that USB-C is just the connector it has nothing to do with the speed USB-C connectors support a wide range of speeds and that's an important thing to remember the speed is actually determined by the USB version whether it's 2, 3, 4 or Thunderbolt if we look at uh, this picture right here real quick these are the different type of USB connectors C is the smallest one uh, and it's used a lot in laptops now uh, and in uh, desktops, but desktops still use A, which is the larger connector, a lot. And so um, we still have, even though we're getting new computers, we still have older devices like printers. And uh, in fact, USB-B, which is this first connector right here, is the connector you see on the back of printers and scanners and similar devices uh, like that. Uh, so if you've ever bought a printer cable in the past, you've probably bought a cable that has a USB and a USB-A and a USB-B on it. Uh, so that, that's the most common printer cable that you'll find. So because all USB-C cables look alike, and support different speeds, that causes some confusion. So there's a bunch of different speed ratings. Um, we still actually use USB 2.0. Uh, we use those for keyboards and mice because they don't need as fast as speeds and we they're also used for um, charging cables a lot because the charging cable is only being used for electricity the data transfer speed doesn't matter and the manufacturer can save some money and make a cheaper cable if they don't need to support the higher speeds uh, USB 3 supports uh, 5 gigabits 3.1 supports 10 gigabits it's actually 3.1 generation 2 to make things even more confused. And uh, USB 3.2 supports uh, 20 gigabits uh, per second, and USB 4 and Thunderbolt supports 40 uh, gigabits per second. So you can see there's a wide range here. Uh, so if you're using, like I said, a charging cable, you can use the slowest speed. It, it doesn't make that difference much difference. But if you're using it for video or a hard drive, you'll want one of the faster uh, speeds. Uh, you don't necessarily need 40 gigabits per second because it, as long as the cable supports the fastest speed of your device, you should be good. But if you buy a faster speed cable, it doesn't really make uh, a difference. The device will still work and it will future proof that cable so if you get faster devices you already have the faster cable uh, if you need it so the reason speed matters is for uh, external drives like ssd drives and hard drives if you're using a slower cable the, the files will still transfer but it will take much longer to transfer uh, also for high speed video output like 4k or 8k and uh, you want to be aware of if you're using a docking station or a USB hub, you'll probably want uh, cables that support the fastest speed of, of those devices as well, so you get the most out of those uh, devices. So, for example, if you're connecting your computer to a docking station, uh, if you have a slower USB-C cable, um, you might be slowing down uh, the uh, speed that you're uh, computer is communicating with other devices on the, the docking station so you can actually decrease your performance just with one cable right there so that's something to be aware of so how do you identify the right USB-C cable first of all you're going to need to look at your device and see what it supports the speeds it supports um, but also when you specify out the cable and you figure out what speed you need you need to look at the labels and the certifications uh, you'll want to uh, check the cable specs before buying it. Um, so if you're buying on Amazon, it, it will usually tell you, uh, even right in the title of the cable, how fast the cable is, or you may have to go into the description to look at it. And you want to avoid cheap and unlabeled cables. A lot of manufacturers want to cut corners. And uh, if they're selling primarily 
uh, charging cables or cables, USB-C cables that are being used for power, uh, the data rate doesn't matter because you're only using it to uh, uh, transfer power. So uh, they'll they'll cut corners there. So if it's unlabeled, you, you, you don't want to assume that it's a faster speed. You probably assume that it may be the slower speed. And finally, uh, just to sum everything up, uh, you want to always check the specifications and look at the labels and don't assume the speed. Uh, you you want to get the speed for your application, but if it's faster, um, it, it doesn't matter. It's still going to support up to the speed of your device, and you can use that cable for future devices that may be faster. Uh, you don't want to spend a lot of money on a really high speed uh, fancy cable if you're just using the cable for charging. But it's also something to remember that if you're using cheaper cables for charging or cables primarily for charging and you grab a cable off of a charger to use for data transfer, just be aware that it may not support the fastest speed of the device you're using. Uh, and so you may need to make sure you have the correct cable for the correct device.